Welcome to The Appliance Show, Jonathan the Appliance Dude, here at Curto's in Westchester County in beautiful and bucolic Yonkers to be exact. We're just 20 minutes north of New York City. Remember that, folks, because we have a New York City-centric product right here. It's a 30-inch capital range, okay? Um, I did a video about this about a year, a year and change ago, and uh, became quite popular on the web, and it was time to revisit it now because Capital has introduced a few more models, and they actually got rid of one and introduced about three more models that will cover the 30-inch paradigm, okay? So let's talk about this. The first thing about Capital, if you haven't heard of them, they obviously don't have the consumer mind share that some of the other high-end brands do. Um, Capital is really, the people who are focused on Capital are true cooks, cooking enthusiasts. I have a lot of chefs who purchase Capital for kind their country homes or whatever it is. If you like to cook, this is a fantastic product to roll with. It's actually featured on the Food TV Network on the TV on the show Chopped. Um, so it is gaining some more attention out there. But the thing I love about this is just the build, the construction of it, the fit and finish. They like to say it's the nicest fit and finish in the business. I'm not going to go out on a limb and say that, but I will say that it is a damn nice fit and finish. What I like about it is the, um, can we see, okay. You hear that? You hear the way that, that sounds? There's no rattling. Remember I did a video a few months ago on another open burner product where the windows were rattling on the range? You're not gonna hear them in this. It just closes beautifully. Um, also, my, uh, my, my test, I like to run my finger along the edges, and you know what? I don't feel anything sharp. I don't feel anything uneven. That talks about fit and finish. It's handcrafted, baby. Okay, so this is built the right way. The first decision you have to make with the Capital 30 inches, if you want to do self-cleaning and you want to do manual clean. If you want to do manual clean, you're going to do the MCR 304 or the MCR 305. That's going to be either four burners or five burners up top, with the fifth burner being a like 25,000 BTU wok burner. They also have under manual clean an MCR 304, I believe it is. Either an MCR 304 or 305. That is an open burner version of the ranges I just mentioned. So an open burner is going to give you that, you know, that's kind of under, that's under their Kellinarian brand. And that is an open burner is going to give you that, re I mean, true, true power underneath there. Um, that's going to chime in at, I believe, 23,000 BTUs, whereas the sealed burners are going to be 18 or 19,000. So you're getting more power with the open burner system. And that's what restaurants are going to use. Um, now, that is your manual clean version. They so also have a self-cleaning version. They have two self-cleaning versions. Again, one that's going to have sealed burners, one that is going to have open burners. And then with that, you would get the um, you would have a four burner option with either a grill or a griddle in the middle for your for your um, sealed burners, and then if you wanted to go to the open burner route, then again you're you're in your culinarian thing again. Um, you're in the open burners with either four or five, I believe. I have to check on that. You have to understand that when you decide between the self clean and the manual clean, there are very big functional differences between them. Um, you know, you get the manual clean, it's very straightforward. You're getting 18, 19,000 BTUs up top, you're getting a convection oven. Um, you know, it's, a, it's, it's quite large. I don't know if we're going to be able to see this with the video, but you can actually fit a, uh, a full size catering tray in here. Um, I'll have more, we'll have more footage in a second on that. But when you go to the uh, when you go to the self cleaning, then things just kind of take off. Um, you're getting a rotisserie inside. You're getting rolling racks uh, inside. You're getting a diverter um, on the base of the oven, which actually helps with the convection flow. And then what you are getting, which is all so 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 important, is you're getting this insane broiler system. Okay, it is a gas on glass broiler system which will provide the perfect sear. This is what they use in Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. This is by far the best broiler that is available on the market, and I will not, I'm not mincing words on that. I mean, the Viking Pro ovens have the gas on glass broiler as a broiler as well. I don't think it's in the range. This thing is something to behold if you roast, if you like to sear meats inside the oven. That is all going to be in the self-cleaning version of this, whether you're getting a 30 or you're going up to a 36, 48, 60, whatever. So for my customers in Manhattan, which are where I've been selling these, I would say the 304, you know, let's just put the self-clean, manual clean thing to bed right now. Let's talk about configuration. You know, if you go with the fifth burner, you're getting, okay, the wok. Now, 
I wouldn't really feel comfortable in a Manhattan apartment with a mic you venting with a microwave that's recirculating air back into a small galley kitchen with rocking 25,000 BTUs up there. It's just going to get hot. It's, you know, I, I wouldn't recommend it. I'm not going to say people don't do it. They do. I wouldn't recommend it. I'm quite happy with the four burner. Four burners, 18, 19,000 BTUs, tops. Um, you know, you put a microwave. I mean, I would do either the, the Viking VMOR microwave. I would do the DCS microwave or the GE monogram. Those are the three micro OTR microwaves, which I think can handle a 30 inch pro range. My family's name is on this building. It's been here for almost 70 years. We have to sell things with confidence that they are going to sit and remain in customers' homes and put big smiley faces on customers. And this range absolutely does. Um, it's been a smash success. And I'm happy I was able to cut another video because there was so much attention paid to that first one. If there's any questions, please email me at jonathanacurtos.com or come visit us up here in Yonkers. Again, we're only 20 minutes north of Manhattan, 20 minutes, 25 minutes from Greenwich, GW Bridge. We're beautifully, centrally located. Thank you very much.